Hey, welcome back. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this little video series. If you're watching them in series, you don't have to. You can watch them in whatever order you like. Um, so far I've talked about uh, just being comfortable and arms being comfortable and hand positioning. In this video, I just want to talk about a little bit more about fingers. Now, think about pianists. When they sit down and play at a piano, you know, the piano's there, they don't play like that. They don't. They play like that. It's the same with the guitar. We don't play like this. We play like this. This is down to a combination of this being a kind of pivot point. This fresh air gap that I mentioned in a previous video. But also, it's where your fingers make contact. And one of the things that I mentioned briefly last time was that quite often these two fingers don't get used for anything, you know, they just don't. But you've got a chance to change all that now. You can change your destiny, my son, by using these two fingers. What you've got to do, you've got to try to get contact on the strings. That's better. Now, this nice clean sound comes from the very tips, you can see that okay, the very tips of the fingers, not the really fleshy part. That means the only way to get that is by holding your fingers so that they kind of go around. And think about a pianist, you know. What you've got to do, think about this as one unit. You don't lock your thumb in position and try and move your fingers, they move together. So if I did this little exercise where I played from like this for example, my thumb hasn't moved at all. But if I was playing certain chords, my thumb is actually acting like a pivot point, look. Okay, in certain chords, the thumb's over the top. There is move to support the hand. Okay, so there's no definite right or wrong way, it's about being flexible. As long as you make good contact with these bits of the finger, not the fleshy part. When you first start doing some finger exercises, you'll probably find, like I said in the other video, that this finger, ironically, is a little bit worse than this one. What seems to happen is this, that you do this, that's fine, but this one doesn't have the control yet. So you end up hitting the strings like that. That's my experience because I work with a lot of you know beginners when I'm teaching privately or at schools. Um, and the little finger, that takes a little bit of work getting in there. But what I want you to focus on, and you know, there's no speed attached to any of this. It's all about just developing the technique. What you want to do is just work on these fingers getting flexible and strong. We have something in the guitar world called the one finger per fret rule, which if you think about it, it makes sense. You can put your fingers there and when you're playing scales, if you did a major scale, that's easy enough because you're not trying to go like this. And then having inconsistency using different fingers, you get locked into patterns, which makes things easier to remember. And then when you're sort of playing, playing, and you're not thinking about what to play, these little runs and stuff that come from having practiced just flow because your fingers are working in a, a nice order. So one of the things that I think you need to work on as a little exercise, uh, no, no push-ups. We are going to do a couple of different things. One of them is to work on the top strings up here. Ignore this hand for a minute, I'm going to talk about that as we get on. But I want you to think about how these fingers are making contact. If you're like this, then stop and just go back really slow and get these focused on going like this. It's a good idea to do them up here so that they go in the small fret, so there's small spacing there. And in the long, longer frets, lo longer, they're not longer, they're wider, they're wider frets. In the wider frets, okay, so that your fingers get used to stretching. 
it does take a few goes and a little bit of time. Don't get, you know, disheartened if that you're doing this and one of these fingers doesn't keep responding. You know, they don't get used. So this is your chance to change that and to, to train it. Another thing is to think about th these muscles here are controlling these fingers. Look, wow, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger just came in the room. I am the Terminator. I, oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. And don't get discouraged by that. Okay, just persevere. Do it really slow. These are going to get stronger. These are all one and the same thing. So the muscles aren't the fingers. These are the muscles controlling the fingers. It's really delicate stuff. But just go for it, even if it just means working on one string, doing this kind of thing. We've all been there, baby. We've all had to do it. I didn't just pop out with a guitar going. Oh, I do apologize for that jazz. But I had to practice as well, and I still do, even now. I've been playing for, for a long time, and I still practice doing basic stuff. So, just, I want you to, you know, more than anything, think about your playing. Don't just get stuck in and if it doesn't work, ah, oh, bloody guitar is rubbish. Just think. Yeah. Little bit at a time. Strength, coordination, all this kind of stuff will come. So, this is just a good point as well to say, um, you know, I hope you're enjoying these videos. It's, it's all a bit of fun. I know, you know, it's not uh, life-changing stuff, but, um, you know, this, this, this course is aimed really at total beginners you know if it's a bit heavy going for you and you can play already then you know I'm sorry about that um, I, you know I've got other stuff on the website that if it's not there it's coming if you've got anything that you're struggling with get in touch with me send me an email and if you're struggling with the problem you can guarantee that there's other people like you that are struggling with the same problems so you know we can do a video about that together you and me we can share this wonderful technology and and have some fun playing songs together <laughs> I know, it's amazing. See you soon. Have fun. Work hard. Practice intelligently. Get them working.